to celebrate International Black Cat Awareness Month, I have this book. It's called All Black Cats Are Not Alike. It is by Amy Goldwasser and Peter Arkel, and this is an autographed copy. I bought this when I was in the city a month or two ago, and I saw this in a bookstore with some other cat-related books, and I thought this was a really interesting book. So I picked one up, and I thought it would make a nice prize for a giveaway. So you can win this book. This autographed copy of All Black Cats Are Not Alike. Let's take a look at it. It says, with true stories and lovingly hand-drawn portraits, this book celebrates the real lives of 50 real all black cats in all their originality and oddity. Knox makes people look at her butt Sashi yells at the woman in the morning and the man at night. Bad Cat was named at 2 a.m. Ronaldo wakes Rebecca up by sniffing her eyeballs. And there is the author's signature, or one of the author's signatures. And the table of contents lists all of the cats. And then it has a forward with questions and answers with Mimi Goldsparkle, um, which I believe is this cat. There's an introduction. I believe these are the authors and their cats. And then here we get into the black cats. This is Master. Master is a sleeping agent, so it features a drawing of each cat, and then it has um, some information about the cat, like a little story about them. Uh, like the Russians say, you don't choose the cat, the cat chooses you. Lars and Irene named their gutsy wee thing for the walking, talking, tram riding, devil's associate cat in Bulgakov's The Master and Margarita. When they brought him home a few years ago, he fired out of the box, puked, put his tail in the air, and decided that this would do. He thinks it's extremely rude when guests don't say hello to him. He spends his weekdays in Long Island City, Queens, where he has agreed to use the toilet and his weekends in the country by a lake. He is no good in a canoe. And that's Master. And then we have Lucky. Lucky regrets not flossing. Lucky lost all of his teeth except for one. And we have Bad Cat. I'm sorry, but that's a horrible name for a cat. Bad Cat. Uh, Bad Cat is a former prince. At the shelter, this cat was the small, scared one that hid. And then there's more to the story of this cat. We have Princess of Long Island who fishes for compliments. We have Blackness Batwing, who is responsible for missing hamburger patties. We have Darkness, who is a liquor. There's Church, who is a goth. There's Knox, who takes no shit. And there's Fergus, who talked shit. Now, um, I have read a few reviews about this book and some of the complaints are that the text or some of the text is really not suitable for children. Um, obviously, um, if you don't want your kids using words like shit, then uh, yeah, this book is targeted toward um, adults or young adults. Here we have Penelope Kitten. We have Sashi. Coco, Vincent, you, Sonny, Salem, the younger, who loves to drink water, Salem, the elder, who treats interns poorly, we have Koa, who wears black socks, Ronaldo, Toet, Kim, The Count, 
Hampton, Puzzles, Mimi. There's really nothing here about Mimi. It just says Mimi has had enough attention. Wookie. Unless that's uh, Mimi Gold Sparkle, the uh, author's cat. Requiem. Lucy, Lucifer War Machine. It appears that this cat might be a TNR. It says her ear was perhaps tipped by spares, perhaps in part lost in a duel. And that's the same issue that I have with tipping a cat's ears. It's not indicative of whether the cat was TNR or not because cats can lose the tips of their ears in fights and um, that happens and that's why I really think it would be better to put some kind of a tattoo on the visible portion of the inside of the ear uh, versus you know cutting off part of the ear. I mean when it's a um, when it's a clear cut like that sometimes you can you know pretty much tell that it was done intentionally but sometimes it's not that easy to tell and I would say a lot of times it's not that easy to tell so um, it's interesting it's interesting that they said that uh, here's Cleo Alfie Cassie ACDC Ringo Spencer Zippy Yoshi Puma Monty, Reginald, Harold, Harold kind of looks like Boo a little bit, Abby, Tug, Fester, Fig, Tino, Raymond, Roxy, Panther, Panther is a pirate. Rashid, Dr. Startle Pants. Vano. And that is all 50 of the black cats. It says Amy Goldwasser and Peter Arkell share a home, an office, studio, gold sparkle, and two cats. Mimi equals ABC, May equals other. ABC equals all black cat. Amy is an editor and writer from Detroit. Peter is an illustrator and Scottish. You can see more of his work at peterarkle.com. And this is what the back of the book looks like. So I thought this was a really cute book and an interesting concept. And I also think it would be a really fun read. Now I have not read about all of these cats yet. I've read some of them when I was flipping through it in the store deciding whether I wanted to buy it or not. So it is, it's definitely cute. It's a really cute book and it's really nice for uh, anyone who loves black cats or um, wants to uh, know more about black cats. I don't know really how educational it is but it's just really interesting to learn about the different cats and all of their different personalities. Like I've always said, all cats are different and they all have different personalities and all black cats are not alike. So if you would like to win this book, all you have to do is two things. The first thing you need to do is be a subscriber to the Lucky Ferrell's YouTube channel. If you are watching this video on YouTube, just make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you are not watching this video on YouTube, go to youtube.com forward slash Lucky Ferrell's and you can subscribe there. The second thing you need to do is visit the giveaway page on luckyferrell's.com and complete the entry form for this giveaway. This giveaway ends at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, October 4th. One lucky random winner will be selected within 24 hours of the end of the giveaway and notified via email. When you enter, make sure to use an email address that you often check. The winner has one week to respond to the notification email and claim their prize. Any prizes not claimed within that time frame will be automatically forfeited and a new 
random winner will be selected. Claimed prizes will be mailed out within one to three business days. Giveaways are open to international entries. However, I am not responsible for prize packages once they are in the possession of the U.S. Post Office and can take up to a month to arrive at some international destinations due to customs. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for subscribing to this channel and supporting this channel. And in the meantime, have a very lucky day. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.